Okay, now the equation P plus AV squared equal to B is dimensionally correct. Hmm. Dimensionally correct. Okay, later. Uh, P and V represent pressure and velocity respectively. The unit of A is similar to that of mass, volume, density, force. Okay, this is a good question. First of all, here it says that uh, dimensionally correct. What it means? Another word for correct means homogeneous. Dimensionally, uh, dimensionally homogeneous. Okay, uh, dimension homogeneous. What it means here is um, uh, for this one. Okay, if you have a positive and negative sign, make sure you look at them separately. Three separate terms. Uh, three separate terms. It's just like um, it's just like you know, uh, one meter plus two meter, you get uh, three meter. Ah, uh, you know, all of them have the same dimension. Meter, meter, meter. Ah, uh, okay, same dimension. Or we can say, a length plus a length, you get another length. You won't get length plus length. You get something like. Uh, you won't get something like uh, 3 meters square or uh, become an area. No. <laughs> length plus a length, you should surely get, still get a length. Then, uh, so uh, don't, don't, be, don't be such a silly. Huh? So, meter plus meter, still get meter. So, what I can say is uh, if this is a pressure, okay, if this is a pressure, so this one also is a plus a pressure. And you still get something back a uh, pressure. Uh, this is what it means. Yeah. Uh, but P is not a dimension. Okay, P is not a dimension. Um pressure plus a pressure still get a pressure. That, that is what it means. Yeah. We can say all these things uh like this is per pressure, this is also actually like pressure, this is also a pressure, yeah. Now um okay. Uh, now let's write out the the equation the formula first. P plus a v square equal to b. Uh, we need to identify p is a pressure, v is a velocity. Uh, the v is a velocity, but the whole thing is a pressure actually. Yeah. So um, okay. Uh, dimensionally homogeneous. So what I can say is when this equation is dimensionally homogeneous, then it can then only it can be added up like this one, yeah. One plus two meter can be added up. If uh, one is a length, one is an area, you cannot add them up. Understand? Uh, so uh, they must have the same dimension. Dimensionally homogeneous or dimensionally correct means they have the same dimension. What I mean is uh, when you have a positive and negative sign, you treat this as a two separate terms. Yeah, three as two separate terms, and uh, the dimension of P must be equal to dimension of AV square and must be equal to dimension of B. So, which is this one? The dimension of P must be equal to dimension of AV square and must be equal to dimension of B. Uh, they must have the same dimension. Okay, so we need to find what we need to find the dimension of A, isn't it? We want to find the dimension of the unit of A or dimension of A. Uh, so um, uh, maybe we can change the question. Yeah, the unit or dimension. Uh, yeah, unit or dimension. So uh, we first we need to find the dimension of P. Okay, dimension of P. So we need to know what is uh, P is a pressure. Pressure. We need to know the formula of pressure. Okay, do you know the formula of pressure? Pressure is force over area. Ah. Pressure is force over area. Huh? And force, uh, F equal to MA. So force is mass time acceleration. Ah. Okay, this is pressure. Ah, so from here, you can know, the, you can get the unit. The unit of pressure is equal to mass is kilogram mass is kilogram and then acceleration is meter per second square and area is meter square area is meter square 
Uh, so from here, we can cut, cut, and what do we get? What's the unit of uh, pressure? The unit of pressure will be kilogram per meter and then per second square. So the, finally, you can get the dimension of P is equal to translate uh, mass, kilogram is mass, meter is length, second is time. Uh, okay, that's, that's it. So from here, uh, we can get the dimension of uh, the dimension so uh, we need to know the dimension of okay another thing um, dimension of P is equal to dimension of a B square isn't it just take this out yeah we, we just want to find the dimension of a okay and we can also know that uh, this is also equal to dimension of a uh, and dimension of B square yeah so uh, we also need to know what's, what is V. V is a uh, velocity, isn't it? Okay. So we also know that um, dimension of V square, uh, dimension of V is, um, in fact, the unit of velocity is meter per second. Okay. So the unit of V is meter per second, velocity. So it's LT negative 1. Uh, LT negative 1. Okay. L T negative one. So, uh, okay. So now we can write dimension. Okay, write down the dimension of P is actually M L negative one T negative two. Okay, dimension of A multiply by okay V square. This is only V. This is only V L T negative one. So if we have square, it become L square T negative 2. Uh, okay. So, and then finally we can get the dimension of A. A uh, dimension of A will be M L negative 1 T negative 2 divided by L 2 T negative 2. Isn't it? Uh, just go below. Okay. So, we cut off. Cut off this one. And finally... The dimension of A is M L negative three. Uh, M L negative three. Okay. So, uh, or we can say the unit, the unit of A. Later, we can find the unit of A. Translate it to unit from dimension. Dimension translate to unit. So mass is kilogram. Length is meter. Ah. So what can you see from here? Uh, so this unit of A or dimension of A is similar to which one? Is this similar to mass, volume, density, or force? Uh, if you look at here, okay, if you look at here, uh, the dimension of uh, A is actually M over L cubed. Ah, so we can say uh, uh, it is, uh, A is almost like uh, the mass divided by volume okay uh, l cube is actually uh, volume uh, volume so it's like mass over volume mass over volume so it's like uh, density ah so the answer is density okay ah so in fact, we can find the, 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 the dimension of uh, each one, okay? Let's look at uh, the mass. The dimension of mass is, okay, let's put unit first. Mass is kilogram. So, dimension is uh, M. So, volume is uh, meter cube. So, it is L cube. Um, density, density is uh, kilogram per meter cube. Per meter cube. Uh, so it's like ML negative 3, uh, just like this one, A. Force is um, MA, yeah? force equal to MA. So it's a kilogram per meter per second square, isn't it? So what's the dimension? Dimension is uh, MLT negative 2. Uh, okay, so that's the answer for density.
all right and maybe you might ask me what's the dimension of b dimension of b is actually the same as dimension of a v square or the p uh, so we can say the dimension of uh, uh, the dimension of b the dimension of b is actually dimension of p so uh, this is also dimension of p just now we got ml negative 1 t negative 2 this is also actually dimension of b Ah, understand? Uh, which is also the dimension of a v square. Okay. So, uh, so the dimension of b, if the question asks dimension of b, it is ml negative 1, t negative 2. Just remember that, just remember that when it is homogeneous, dimensionally uh, correct, dimensionally correct, uh, it means that, it means this. The dimension of, the dimension of each of these three terms is the same. Uh, the dimension of all these three is the same. Uh, same dimension, same dimension. Okay, same dimension. And uh, all these three have the same dimension. Okay, uh, that's it. Okay, see you in the next upcoming videos.